A fish farm off Tofino is testing new technology. It's the first of its kind in North America. The mainstream Canada farm is trading traditional nets for copper alloy netting, saying it'll be more secure, will last longer, and is better for the environment. But as CTV's Gord Kerber shows us tonight, critics say it's simply giving an old problem a new look. It's an innovation that is only seen beneath the surface of the ocean. Mainstream Canada says it's going to new depths to bring updated technology to fish farming. This is a joint project. They're looking, uh, the supplier is looking also to see if this works because uh, this is something the industry is definitely looking at. Mainstream is experimenting with copper alloy netting, replacing the older nylon netting on two of its pens with what it hopes will be a cleaner, stronger system. These metal nets are similar to the traditional nets. Uh, they look like a big chain link fence, uh, four sides and a bottom. Um, they're made out of uh, copper alloy. Um, they're probably the best predator deterrent that we could possibly find. The nets are expected to stay cleaner and therefore last longer than traditional ones. They have the added bonus of being recyclable and are also expected to keep predators at bay. Marine mammal interactions are a bit of a challenge for traditional nets. So these metal rigid nets we hope will deter mammals, especially the ones such as California sea lions. Mainstream installed the netting at its Plover Point operation near Tofino. And while the company is excited about the innovation, salmon farming critics are not. I really don't care what kind of net they use. That, that farm does not belong there. Uh, it's rich with marine life on the bottom. It's, uh, these animals are not going to survive the, the tons of waste that are going to come out of this facility daily when it's at peak operation. Alexandra Morton says the site is highly sensitive and was approved despite enormous local resistance. She says net selection doesn't erase the bigger issue. Whether they use a copper net or a rope net or whatever kind of net, the waste is coming out and then the work I'm doing on these three European viruses, it, it's critical. It shows that uh, technological advances are out there, that we are looking at new ways to improve our environmental sustainability, cleaner waters, cleaner, you know, healthier fish. So this is a step in the right direction and, and everyone should be applauding this. Mainstream Canada says it will be evaluating the new netting over the next two years. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Camel River.